Hey y'all, how's it going? It is your girl, Hot Girl Tail Shay. Thank y'all all for joining and being here with me this afternoon. So we're going to see the current energy is pulling me back. All right, somebody trying to come back towards you, Collective. Somebody trying to, is is on their way back, okay? That's what it's seeming like, but we're going we're gonna to get to the bottom of it. We're going to see what's going on here, okay? All that I ask that you like, like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Excuse me. Please and thank you. We're going to see what's going on here. Why this person is trying to, is, is pulling back towards you. What they want and what they, what's their tea, okay? Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So it seems like this person is, is single, and they're ready for some type of commitment with you, okay? They want to be in a long-term relationship. Y'all know I pulled the last three out of my deck. The last three that I am seeing is single, currently stat current status available. We got want to be in a commitment, and we got unconditional love. Very certain, certain, certain about you, okay? So I feel like this person has been contemplating, not even contemplating, but they've been just sitting back for some time as y'all been, as y'all been apart and they've been kind of thinking about some things. Yeah. They're in this mental conflict right now where they've just been thinking about a lot where they need to be. They try somehow trying to keep note and keep tabs of possibly the things that you were telling them. You know, I feel like it's somebody who was possibly rereading y'all's text messages and, um, kind of feels like, you know, it's, t if, if I want to be, if I'm claiming that I love the collective like I, like I do and I want this to work and that I'm sure and I'm certain that I'm supposed to be with my collective or with my person, then I need to be single and get my shit together so that I can give this commitment. This is somebody I feel like who has a lot or who had a lot of things tied to them, which was causing to be in this mental conflict. So your person is just wishing, wow, just wishing, hoping and praying that things can be better for the both of you because they feel this soulmate connection, okay? They feel in their heart what you truly mean to them. Tell me more for the collective. Tell me more for the collective. What's going on with the collective person? Yeah, see? They watching you. They still got eyes for you. This person still cares about you. And I feel like anybody, and this is you reminded me by um, Usher. Anybody that your person gets involved with, they try to, like, compare that person to you. Like, damn, what? Hmm. This ain't my person. You know, like, it's like, it's kind of this energy of like, your person knows they possibly can't be with you right now. So they try to get like, a, they try to like compare others to you or they try to be with, I feel like you're always, something always is reminded of you. That's what I'm basically trying to say. This person can't get you out their thoughts in their head. They can see your name pop across, you know, maybe somebody else got your name. Maybe they see, um hear a song that reminds like you just always are reminded you know this person can't forget about you told you they're in this mental prison about you it's like they're very confined it's like they, they feel stuck in their thoughts about you for some of them they feel very stuck in their thoughts about wanting to come forward and give you a higher level of commitment but they're stuck in their head about it I feel like there's somebody who's also too who's they have a, a bad habit of with temptation. Yeah. So tell me more. Yeah, this person that was pretending, they're about to get up out of that energy. This person is, is about to stop pretending when it comes to what you truly mean to them. Okay, they're about to quit acting like they don't care about you because it comes up under the conditional love. They feel this unconditional love for you. And they're about to get to a place where they're about to be like, look, I got to straighten up and get my shit together. Yep. And as I say this in a couple of days, weeks, months, this person, I feel like is going to present themselves to you. So why is this projected here, spirit? Days, weeks, months. What's projected? Ooh. So you're going to find out possibly or going to know that your person is getting up out of a situation, physically moving, changing their location from what they're in. Okay. Um, your person is 
somewhere where it's very triggering for them, okay? The person feels very mentally confined like they're in a prison. They don't know how to shake, shake from this. But they're about to get up out of this situation. Look, y'all. Why, I ask, is because they want to come to agreement. They want to compromise with the one they want to be with. They want to give you an offer. They're like, look, I got up out of this situation, collective. I'm sorry for putting you through this shit. I want to come and, and compromise. I want to give you my offer of love. I am ready. This is somebody who, who's certain in their heart that, you know, they, they fit. this is somebody who, who understood the assignment. They're like, okay, I have to come back. If I love the, like I told y'all, if I love my collective, the way that I said that I do and the way, all these promises I made my person, I got to come in and whatever is attached to me, I got to let it go and become back a better person, a better man, a better woman <clears throat> to come and give you this long-term commitment. That's what they're hoping for because they feel like you deserve the offer. You know, you don't put with a lot of, with this person's a lot of their shit. Okay. And like I said, they're tired of pretending like they don't care. They're tired of pretending like they don't see what's right in their face. They're tired of pretending like they're happy in something and they're not. That's why they're physically moving, physically moving. Your person could be trying to, is uh, working on getting a, in their own place, their own apartment, behind the scenes because they don't want to be with this person anymore they want to come towards you in a couple of days weeks months to give you some type of offer to see if you will take the offer like look I, i've been out here doing the work i've been really really letting go of this situation that i'm currently in like i do not want to be with this person this karmic anymore i want to be with you so let's see more yeah, but this person got a lot of anxiety. They're scared. They're panicked. They feel like, well, what if I do get up out of the situation and the collective don't want me back? They're even scared to come back towards you, you know, but they do want this reconciliation with you. They just feel very, very weighed down. It's like a lot is on your person right now. But like they're going through like some type of a roller coaster. For, one, for two, this person is very, very embarrassed. That's how they're feeling right now. They feel very, very embarrassed. And they, they keep themselves in these bad thoughts, you know, thinking the worst out of this situation. But they are going to take a, a, a risk towards you. They're just very, very scared to come forward. They don't want you to reject them. Yeah, see? Your person was involved. Like, you could have even been this person's love affair. Like, you, they could have had you as a secret. You know, they didn't expect to end up falling this hard for you. They never thought that. They didn't think that, but they feel like, and y'all are not talking right now, but your person is praying for this union with you. Mm. Yeah, this person getting signs about you. They getting signs. They stay, they seeing them angel numbers with you. They know it's forever. And they are, they also know that you love them forever yeah but they're going through some type of awakening they're understanding you the role that you played in their life that's why they want to come in and give you that love yeah they want to sit and talk things out with you but i feel like they're very afraid because they don't know what you're going to say they don't know what you're going to do they don't, they don't know how you're going to react you know yeah but they want more of you Yep. Yep. And they feel sad. They feel broken. They know they broke your heart. They broke your trust. They were giving you false promises, but they also got issues too. Got a lot, like something's going on with court money, going to see a judge, got to probably possibly sit and do time. I don't know. Every time when I do y'all message collective, this card comes out because they know they feel certain in their heart of what it is with you. They ran away. They ran from y'all. They ghosted you. They left this connection. Now they sent someone wishing and praying and hoping that they can find the courage to come towards you to give you some type of offer. <clears throat> they want to leave the past behind and start all over with you. Yeah, see, this person feels lost. They not, like, like I said, they ghosted you. Now you could have, the fact that they ghosted you, you end up blocking them. Now they're feeling like, oh, shit, you know? Yep. Look, and now they sense they now they're coming to a realization of of who you really, truthfully are. 
They they know what it is. They, things are coming to the light in regards of this connection of where they want to be at. That's why they're asking for God to protect your union. Yeah, he wants a family with you. He loves the fact that you love family. He love. He wants to give you a family. He could be in a situation, or they could be in. I don't know. Why I said he, maybe because I saw the bomb feminine. But this person is around a lot of toxic mess right now. Yeah, look, they know you're a sweet person, sweet lady. They know four eleven. They know that you're a sweet person, and they they kind of cut off the wrong thing. But yeah. Something's about to be confessed and exposed to you here soon about your person. Yeah, your person wants to leave the past in the past and move towards a new beginning. Something I feel like is eating your person, like um, eating away at your person, like these thoughts that they're having about you. Maybe they said something they didn't mean or, you know, yeah, they wish and praying that they still got a chance with you. And whatever's standing in your way of the standing of y'all connection, your person's trying to get rid of it because it's not working. You see them piano keys? Things don't sound the same. Things are not ha they, things are not working. So it's no it's no need reason to keep holding on to something that's not working. That's why your person wants to come back and be single and work it out with you. Yeah, trying to clear out things that are not working out for them. Going through some type of cleansing, removing negativity out their energy. Told you. Heavy on leaving the past and the past and moving towards the beginning with you. Because see, this person knows they could be happy. They know what they could have with you. And they're obsessed with you. Got to have an obsessive thoughts. Like stuck in these obsessive thoughts. And this is how they're feeling now. In the present. In the moment. And the thing that your person is hiding and not showing is that they want to come back towards you that they're reminiscing recalling having these memories about you that's what that's what they're hiding that's all 12 12 as i said that they they're thinking of them, this is what you don't see this is what you don't know you don't know that your person's reminiscing they ain't gonna make a post and tell you you ain't gonna find out from a family yeah they, they see they were pretending they came this came in reverse the only card that came out in reverse that they, they, they pretended to be in fake and and i don't care about you that's all about the that's all about the end because see, this person is having these, these thoughts about you. They can't, they, they keep thinking of the good times with you, but they know they ain't got shit to offer you either. They're trying to survive the best way they can. They with somebody who's on some bullshit. Honestly, what else does a collective not see about their person spirit? <laughs> that they about to pop up on your ass. <laughs> Y'all better get an unexpected visit, a surprise visit from this person. Anything else collected don't see coming? That y'all are really soulmates. This person could use their soulmate and they can't get enough of you. You're an obsession to them. Anything else the collective needs to know in regards to the person? That y'all about to have a talk, a conversation to get on the same page? Mm. Okay. So let's let's pull you some more. Get you some more. Spirit, please um give my collective what they need to know about their person at this time. What do they not see coming with their person that they're currently thinking about? What do they not see coming? Or what do they don't know that's coming? What do they not see that's coming? My collective, what they need to hear at this time. Hold on, y'all. We need two more shuffles. No, let's do three shuffles. Two and one more. What do they not see coming with their person spirit? What's my collective, what they need to hear at this time in regards to the person that is currently thinking about at this time? What do they not see coming? Your person wants to stop looking at things in the past, okay? They want y'all to possibly quit having other people in your business. They want to work this out. And why? Because they see you as 
someone that they can have a future with. They look at you as eternal love, marriage, proposal, pregnancy, empress. Like I told you, you are the divine feminine. And that's all confirming because look at this. They want a commitment. And then we have the divine feminine. Same cards that came out coming out in my other deck. So that's just confirms it. And then I think we have the past. And like I just told you, so everything is just very, it's just double confirming. They want to leave the past in the, and they want to stop looking in the river mirror and having people in their business. They want to be with you. They want to be in a commitment with you. Okay. They want to leave the past in the past and move towards a brand new beginning. Look, before you walk out of my life by Monica. So I feel like this is, this person, I feel like they, when I, when I, just me thinking about that before, just saying that phrase before you walk out of my life. I feel like this person got something to say, which is why this came out, what you don't see coming. Because they know they fucked up. This person knows that they did you dirty. They know that they had you in other situations, wasn't being as honest, wasn't keeping it 100 with you. And y'all know I take the last three out my deck every time. So I'm going to show y'all what's coming that y'all don't see coming or don't, what y'all don't know about your person. But before you walk out, my just just basically saying this person wants to make things right. You know, they want to make sure that this is what you truly want. You know, they know the damage that they've caused. They know the hurt and the pain, but they want to make sure like, okay, I need to get on the same page and I need to talk to this out with you. I didn't realize how powerful you were. I didn't realize that, that you would have this effect on me. See, I could have, I've, I've thought maybe me and you were just going to be like a little sneaky link or a little fling, but really in reality, you're what I want. You're my dream person. I never expected to feel like this. You're you're the one who keeps popping up in my mind. I'm going to be popping up on you soon. I, you, these memories I can't shake. I try to act like I don't care. I try to like act like I'm out here pretending with everybody else. And you really saw the real me, which kind of scared me. <clears throat> but I know that you, I mean, I'm coming to some type of realization. I've realized that I more love you more than possibly what I was putting out. And I'm sorry for breaking away. And I'm sorry for not being as honest with you. And I'm sorry you had to find out a couple of things that you found about me on your own. And I was and I was scared. I didn't want you to know the real me because I knew you would end up leaving me. So I had to fake it. But I am working on getting up out of a situation that's not good for me because it's not healthy. I'm, I'm stuck in my mind and I'm not happy here. I was happy with you. Things are getting done with you. I felt at peace. I felt comfortable. Now everything is just not working out. It's I feel lost out here without you. Don't think that I've forgotten about you. So that's why this person wants, before you do walk, completely walk out of their life, they want to say, look what I got to offer you. Will you, will you listen to me? Will you compromise with me? Can we work this out? Is it that bad that you have to, that you got to be gone for good? Look, I only want to make things right before you walk out of my life. So that's what this person wants to do. And the first one to play was pulling me back. We, we heard that. So there's something here in your person where it's pulling them back towards you. Okay? So they want to make this right before you walk out of their life. They're like, look, I want to come back and I want to make sure this is what we built for. Are we really, are we sure that we're done? Are you sure that you're done? Because all this person right now is calling you from no numbers. They're drowning in their emotions. They miss the fuck out of you. They feel isolated. They feel lost without you. Okay? But like I said, they know who you are. You're forever theirs. No matter what. And that's why y'all will have some income and communication coming in. The last three cards, these are it. They're drowning their emotions. They know who you are. You're the empress in this person's eyes. You mean more to this person than possibly what you think you than what you think you do. And that's why you're about to get some income and communication. And this person's gonna to wanna to sit and talk to you. Wanna possibly meet up, link up and see what's what's going on with you. What else do I need to know? Look. Expecting. Some of you, they want to talk about possibly having starting a family with you, you know? Yeah, this person wants to put in that work for you. Yeah, 
this you're gonna that came out twice i put that card back because i was like no but no it came out again this person wants to start a family with you i mean we got it right here pregnancy is in this card which is the last three so and some i don't know why i don't know why i got this thought but in my mind i kind of got well, when i thought about that about the baby boom expecting conceiving children involved family time this whole person wants to do is start a family with you i heard like i i don't even want to be vulgar about it but this person knows y'all did something and they know they did something to you and they're like, okay, you, she should be blowing my phone up by now. She should say she's pregnant. She should be saying something like, I got her, I got her pregnant. <laughs> Not knowing that your ass probably took a plan B. Okay, I mean, I'm just gonna keep it 100. Okay, that's what I picked up. Yeah, this person loves the fact that you're very submissive, and I feel like your person wants to like gift you with something or. Something's very, very loud, make you happy. It's like I feel like you can do, this person could do the smallest thing for you and you'll be happy. This person loves the fact that you're not out here like you don't need the whole world, you know? They love the fact that you make them want to be a better man or a better woman. They probably didn't buy gifts for nobody, but for you, they would want to because why they want to see they love how loyal you were. They this person knows they put you through a lot of things. But they want to make it right in some kind of way with a gift starting over something because they feel like they owe that much to you like damn i had i have this good ass woman what was i out here doing messing it up and that spirit in you say you got these chains on that spirit force ending like i told y'all being fake out here came out in reverse all this pretending trying to be more than what they are it's only working for a couple of people somebody ain't putting up with their shit like you are or somebody or, i mean they realizing you're not putting up with their shit anymore what they were running to and out here doing they don't want that no more Mm -mm. yeah this person about to be overgiven yeah this person wants to give you a lot of love because they know that they did you dirty or talked to you any kind of way or, or, or did you bad you know but they're kind of shy to come come forward to you they don't know how to put things into perspective they don't know how to come yeah look top of the deck dreaming of you that's all they ask is doing is dreaming of you Yeah, see, this person sees that you're the diamond in the rough. There's nothing like you. And I feel like your person wants to start a new beginning in love. They want to start over with you, okay? Be and they feel like the happy ever after says, read your comments in your story. The best part is coming, happy ending. You're this person's happy ending. You're their new beginning to a happy ending. I mean, happy beginning. Or a happy ending, however you want to say it. Yeah, but your person knows they got to be honest with you. There's more to the story that they were hiding. So your person's in this energy of like, okay, let me go ahead and out with the old, in with the new. Let me go ahead and, and tell them my fuck-ups or what I've done wrong so we can have a new beginning. Why? Because your person feels this divine energy. And for two, they know that you do not need them. You're independent. You got your own bag. You're doing, you're doing damn good out here. You can have anybody you want. That's their loss if they don't want to get right. Best friends, always together, always in their mind, separation anxiety. It's how your person's feeling, collective. Your person, I feel like they're ready to be happy again. They're ready to smile, you know? Yeah, but y'all got good karma coming for y'all. Y'all got some good karma coming. Look, as I say, that looks about, looks, blah. Look what is at the bottom. Yeah, we got um I feel like it I feel like good things are gonna come for this union with the with the both of y'all. Good things are gonna come. I feel like you can get proof of things, you're getting cars, you're getting loans, like everything is still going still gonna go good for you. Yes. All this person is able to do is just watch you. Watch what you've been up to, watch what you've been doing, watch you from a fake page. But they about to apologize to you. They about to have they about to come with some form of, of an apology. Yeah. And what was meant to break y'all up or pull y'all apart is gonna is gonna make y'all be closer to one another.
Come on, cards. So let's see what you should expect from this person in the next couple whatever. What should the collective expect from their person? To know that this person equally loves you. <laughs> what else, spirit? For some of you, you're going to hear some dirty laundry about your person. Something's going to be expressed. Something that your person was sweeping up under the rug. They can't sweep it up under the rug anymore. And it's about to be told. This is from your alpha male. Okay. Because the person's really obsessed with you. Could be from an obsessive karmic or obsessive ex, a friend, family, somebody. But somebody's about to air it out about your person. Yeah, there could be songs that you need to listen to that instead of just hurrying from skipping them, you possibly need to listen to them because there could be a message in there for you. Pay attention to the song lyrics. Let's see, Spirit, anything else that the collective needs to know about their person? You're the Divine Feminine. <laughs> okay, so how does this person feel about the Divine Feminine? Feels that you're very beautiful, seductive. What else? Somebody feels like when they return to you, you're going to be like, what you talking about? What you want? Why are you here? They're going to be like, they know you're going to be side eyeing them, but that's why they're going to, wow, y'all got it. Whoa. I tell you, this person's very, very um, shy to come back towards you. They're coming back, okay? Heavy on the past returning, heavy on y'all having a reconciliation. That's what this person is wanting to do. They're, they're wanting to come back and make something right with you. That's what they want. And any other messages for my collective? Possibly you're going to find out they want to come back on social media. Maybe you block them or, you know, somebody. There might be another person that would be like, reach out like, hey, such and such told you to get in touch with them. Yeah, this, part, this is your twin flame. You and this person are twin flames. Yeah, trust your intuition. Your intuition is correct. If you feel like your person's come back, then that's probably a chance. But make sure you keep your intuition open and, and alert. You know, don't be blinded by just words. So anything else the collective needs to know about their person spirit that's coming back? Yeah, this person's been having, like, vivid dreams about you. See, you could have been seeing them in your dreams, too. Yeah, some of you, your person wants to introduce you to their family, or y'all will be meeting the family, because that is what's on the horizon. What's on the horizon? For some of you, you're going on a vacation. Yeah, but your person want to make it like it was. They want to be back in love with you. They want to have a family. They want to build your trust again. They want to get back to the basics. Why? Because there's unconditional love for you. There's real love. You know, they feel this. They feel butterflies. You make this person feel good. So let's get y'all some heart messages. Look, soulmate. It says your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this, and they will manifest. Then we got Cupid arrow, arrow strikes. As I just literally just split the deck. Some of this is your soulmate getting ready to come back towards you. Spirit, give them some guidance. My club some guidance on the person at this time right now, please. What guidance do they need when pertaining to their person? What guidance? What guidance do they need to know about their person? All right, so y'all got a new beginning. It says, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live in your dreams passionately. Told y'all, y'all about to have a new beginning with your person. And wait. Don't rush it. Allow nature to run its course. So, yeah, y'all need to quit rushing 
this whatever it is. Some of y'all, that's what y'all are going crazy. Secret admirer. It says someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. Told you. Y'all don't have a y'all not have nothing to worry about when it comes to your person. Okay? Because they know what's up with you. They know what it is. Okay, but y'all will have that new beginning with your person, that's for sure. So let's see. Let's do a couple more messages for y'all situation. Yeah, y'all need distance right now. Y'all got to work on some other some other things right now. But they will be returning back towards you, okay? Yeah, this person's still interested in you, okay? But some of you are going to have a life change experience with this person. You Like, a, we got that pregnancy card. So some of you are probably going to end up having a child with this person, okay? After having a one-night stand, maybe you decide to have a one-night stand and boom, you're about to be pregnant. Bless it. <laughs> yeah, because you still feel the attraction. Y'all both feel the chemistry. It's a lot of love there between the both of you. Yeah, look, this person even told you I felt love at first sight. The person loves you. Like, they're thinking of the future hard with you, stalking you. And there is good news that's going to come about this relationship. Okay? I'm going to do a few more. You can tell the collective about their person at this time. What do they need to know in regards to their connection with their person? Oh, so we got friendship. This friendship is leading more to uh, the friendship is leading to more. So y'all will be, look, we got hours and hours planned. So I feel like y'all are going to be friends. Y'all are going to decide to be friends. And then it's going to lead to marriage. You know, it's going to be leading to a, a, a level, sorry, a deeper level of commitment. Look, we got longing. It's that someone is yearning for your love. They're yearning for you, This whoever this is. And we got twin flame. This is your twin flame. We saw that earlier. And then we got second chance to situate this relationship. Um deserve a second chance told y'all so we got friendship marriage um longing twin flame yeah you'll be able to be vulnerable to this person they'll be able to be vulnerable to you so we're gonna get a couple more and we're gonna see why this person is wanting to come back towards you okay we'll get some more answers on why do they want to come back spirit bless my collective what they need to know at this time as to why their person wants to come back towards them why is the person that's on their mind right now wanting to come back towards me? What's them what they need to hear, man? All right. So it could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. They want to catch up with, with you. Let's see. Trying to take all these. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna take. Basically, spirit is really confirming everything that I've said. All right, so it could be an air sign or a fire sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or a um. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could be the sign. But the reason for this person returning back is because they're coming back because you don't pay them any mind. They want to ask you on a date, wanting to apologize, possibly gossip about someone, like possibly what they're currently in their situation. Like, yeah, I was with so and such. So they're probably going to be gossiping about a third party situation. They want to ask you out on a proper date, do things differently this time. I mean, this definitely does look like a date to me. Sitting around having drinks, chilling. They want to leave the past behind. They want to start over with you. Hoping that y'all can link up and talk things out. Just as what I was saying. So they know that they did you dirty. 
That's why they want to come and get on the same page with you. And they want to catch up with you. And then I'm going to pull the first three. No, the first two from the top and the last two from the bottom. To see if the love is still there. They want to come back and be toxic as fuck. <laughs> Express their love for you. Needing the shoulder to cry on. So I feel like this person kind of knows they fucked up. They're trying to like be in this energy possibly where they're just like, look, I've just been going through it. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I've been going through since we stopped talking. Like, I love you. I want to be back with you. Please, let's work it out. You know, you know how the story goes. Okay. So I'm going to end it right there. You guys, thank y'all for sticking with me. Um, this just gave you a little bit insight of what's going on with your situation with your person. If you're just curious, okay, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I love each and every one of y'all. If you need a book of personal reading, it is at Hoggo Tarot Shea. The link will be in my description box. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.